right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I'm sure nobody missed me. I don't miss him too. So anyway, uh, before we start, just to inform you that we will stop doing live podcasts in this channel. So if you really care to follow our channels or our live broadcast, the link is down in the info. You will see it says our new live account. Click at there and subscribe. So we will put this account for sleep for some time. So please tell your friends and subscribe in that account. Do I need to repeat again? Again, for those who did not hear me very well, this account here will not do live broadcast for some time. We don't know for how long because this account became so big and so fat. I have tens of thousands of subscribers. So I don't like that. Uh, so I like to balance. You know, I have many accounts. So I just, just as a backup. So the other account you will see in the info, it says our new life account. You click at the link and you can subscribe. So there you can be joining us. Now, uh, one of you, guys, did you hear me or no? Did you hear me about the new account or nobody hear me? Eh, I'm sure nobody hear me because most of you like my grandfather. You know, my grandfather, he used to come to our house and he say, why you did not shave your beard? I say, I like it. Every time I come, he come, he say, why you don't shave your beard? He's an old man. Until one day, I cannot take it no more. So I said, okay, give me money. I will go to, to the, to the, you know, to this, uh, to the uh, barber shop and I will make him shave my beard. Since then, he never asked me again to shave my beard. All right. He's an old man, you know, one old, very old, very, very old, not like old, just really extremely old. <laughs> so since I asked him to, uh, okay, give me money, I will go and shave it. Since then, he never asked me again. So should I ask you again to go and subscribe? I forget. Now, one of you, he sent me this uh, uh, video uh, made by uh, two heroes. You know, those heroes, they go like, uh, you know, those fighters, they go in the stage, you know, they wear their short. And they like boom, boom, so stuff like, boom, like they are heroes. So AWF, what is that? And he is giving us a finger. Uh, the name of the organization, Abdullah Wasian Foundation. That is a lot of Wasian to count, my friend. So this uh, this video is saying, as I don't understand, you know, I mean, I, I, I did not hear anyone talking, but look what they are saying. I will not play the music because uh, simply it might have copyright. Okay. Abdullah Wasian Foundation, AWF, it challenged. Challenged in the past or challenging? Okay. Anyway, Christian Prince, that's supposedly me. To open debate, not by hiding. <laughs> You know, I was really, I was really uh, thinking about it. And uh, I said to myself, like, those guys, they don't want hiding stuff. They want to be uh, uh, everybody to see. Uh, look like a Christian prince is doing a hiding debate. So I was looking for a location where nobody can be hiding. And I think I found uh, the location. What do you think we do the debate uh, over that rock here? which is not far away from uh, Jakarta. This way, nothing is hiding. What do you think, brother? I mean, why in the world anyone want to have a hiding debate? Open debate, not by hiding. There's no need for windows. There's no need for chairs. We put all the Indonesian in their boats around us. You sit at the top, and I sit next to you. And then we do it face to face. If you don't like face to face, we can do it, uh, you know, like, I mean, bum to bum. So this is, will be very open debate. What do you mean open debate, not hiding? What does that mean? Are you, are you serious? Oh, I invite you to open debate. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I invite you to open debate. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Uh, Christian Prince, why are you not coming? I am hiding. I cannot debate. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, you know, hiding debate? What do you mean hiding? What does that mean, my friend? 
You see, I don't know. It sounds fishy for me. It sounds like you are scared. And because, you know, I cannot go to Jakarta. I mean, uh, by the way, if I go to Jakarta, uh, it's just one way trip or I will come back alive. As I know in Jakarta, uh, there is those people, they will be waiting for me. I mean, how many tens of thousands of them, they will be waiting for me if I come to Jakarta, brother? So what do you mean inviting me to Jakarta? And like even he dis he decide how many number of seats. You are you are inviting me here. Okay. <laughs> uh, and look at the sign. It says jihad. Who is Jihad? By is that the is that the name of uh, of of one of my friends? His name is Jihad. What is that? What? So you are inviting me. Hmm? So if we go back to the <coughs> to the video here. All right. And the funny they wrote in Arabic, Bismillahi Lahmani Lahim. I bet you don't know how to read it. Okay, so uh, Abdullah Wasian Foundation, AWF, AWF. Okay, oh, I'm trying to find. Anyway, it challenged Christian friends to openly debate, not by hiding. Abdullah Wasian Foundation, AWF, will facilitate a debate. On the University of uh, Surabaya with capacity of 1,500 to 2,000 seats or other agreed place. Okay, I agree. Here we go. I'm going to invite you, brother, so we can do it in. Uh, uh, what about you come to uh, California? What about you come to New York? Hmm? I mean, obviously, you are terrified to death. And this is why you are making it as if you are challenging me without even sending me the message. I mean, here we go. This video is since June 25th. How in the world I will know about your challenge if you did not give it to me? Are you sending them? Are you sending letters to yourself? I mean, how in the world I will know that this guy even challenged me? Look, the title is in Jakarta in, in the Indonesian name. And it's posted between Muslims. And I am not a subscriber to his channel. And why I will subscribe? I don't subscribe to anyone. So how will how will, even I will know? Ah, I think you made this just to show the Indonesian that you are a hero. Actually, I look at your Facebook and you look like you are a hero, to be honest with you. You are a big hero. Which one is you? I think the one in the left, I don't know, because I searched in uh, uh, in YouTube, they have like, a, there they have an info, Facebook, and then group Facebook, what is that? Hmm, let us see, this group Facebook. Look at this. Haka Abid Awasian Kestarago. My friend, let us make it simple and clear. If you are brave enough, I'm almost going live on air every day. There is no need for you to come to me. I do not need to come to you. You are just a fake person and you don't dare to call me. However, I can call you. If you think you don't like to call, I will call. Just give us your Skype and I will be happy to call you. All right. But there's no need for this. Uh, you know, I think you want to show yourself in the front of the Philipp for in front of the Indonesian people that you are a hero and you can debate me, but you cannot. None of you can. You see all of those behind the table. You will not even be equal to a snack. Not even a snack. And this is why you don't dare to call me. But the Muslims asking you, why you don't debate this guy? I mean, somebody have to do something. So in order just to show them that 
I am a hero. It's not me. I don't want. He don't want to do it. So you post a video in the middle of nowhere. And you don't even send me the video. And you don't even contact me. And yet you are claiming that you are challenging me. Isn't it obvious that you are false? Hmm? Is that the same guy I get him busted? Is that the same guy? I don't know. Is that the same guy? I somebody is saying the text. This is the same guy. I uh, the one who spoke about the Greek mythology. <laughs> I remember him. <laughs> this guy. He said the Christians they copy from the Greek mythology that Jesus he is the son of God and his mother she was virgin and this is from the Greek mythology. But the stupid he forgot that the Quran teach that. This is the one where they beat me. You? Are you serious? I made a video for him. I don't know where I have it. It's, it's posted by the Indonesian. Hey, go watch it. The guy, he was like, he, he was, he was doomed. <clears throat> um, block me so I can message you well as long as i blocked you it's mean i blocked you for a reason i always block kids so anyway when uh, when uh, when somebody says he want to debate me it doesn't matter who is he ask yourself i mean christian prince you go live on air and he say anyone call me especially if you are a scholar you are more than welcome and i will be happy to speak to you and then they don't call so what is the reason the reason simply they will not do it they cannot do it. Right? Let us see. In many ways, a religion of Islam is the most innocent, innocent, innocent inconsistent. Okay, so, all right. <clears throat> I'm trying just to read the comment of this group. I don't see anything, anything correct in this group. Hmm. Uh, somebody here mentioned my name. Hold on, hold on. I am waiting for you to wait for the most scary thing in this group. Who dare to challenge to debate about Muhammad and the prof and prophethood? I don't think I will achieve it. Maybe is afraid of not being able to speak English or Arabic, or don't understand how to deny the truth of CV that is a bright. It is. Please die. Uh, I think I don't know. <clears throat> what about you? What? Uh, anyway, so look like this guy is challenging them about about debating me. All right. So it looked like Christian Prince has given them a headache. They can't sleep no more. Yeah. Look at this group. Anyway, my friend. <clears throat> now we go back to. Uh, topic a brother and sister be my witness i telling the christian friend to debate me and i ask him to come to Zakarta. this is exactly what zakir naik said to me by the way zakir naik he said to me he I, he want me to bring at least two thousand people and fly with them to bangladesh i cannot wait to go to bangladesh I cannot wait to meet Zakir Nayek. I cannot wait to go to Jakarta. I cannot wait. You Muslims, you go crazy for a cartoon. So if what a Christian prince, he come to you. For a cartoon, you kill people in Jakarta and in those countries. So what will happen if I go there? You will let me leave after the debate, after I say to you, your prophet is a false prophet. After I show you that your prophet, the bewitched man, he was crazy. Huh? So this is very silly. Everybody is laughing at you. Actually, this is a clear evidence of being a coward. Because everyone knows that you don't mean it, and this will never happen. Secondly, you, are, you, you do not even came to me to challenge me. What is going to take you? 
to call me once speak to me half hour get me busted life on air in one thing two things maybe maybe five things the more the better be the hero right it is a trap no my friend there's nothing it's called trap you see I know it's not safe for me but I mean even if it go there I mean they knew I will destroy them it doesn't matter where I am but I know that going there is not a smart of me to do right this is not about otherwise I can go and they will make them shish kebab wherever I go it doesn't matter as simple as as, as that I pronounce Jakarta even better more and more yeah why I, I, before I was saying Jakarta wrong no I always say Jakarta the same way you know just to tell you uh, uh, something I learned from the group and this group in uh, Facebook Jakarta it is a name of a city uh, about a guy his name is Jack and his girlfriend her name is Arta and those two guys they were in love and then they decide to meet in a top of a debate island which can be found in uh, here all right so they met in the top of this island and then they went all the way up and they don't know how to get down so Jack said to Arta we went up together we go down together what do you think she said let us do it so they jump in the water and this is how Indonesia is located now in the water and because of their name they call the city Jakarta I hope you learn some history listen which nobody knows except Sahir Bukhari brother this is this is the Tahir Hadith brother this is the Tahir Hadith authentic Hadith absolutely hmm? yeah <clears throat> I mean why my story why you why you people laughing at my story Muhammad's story is, is more far <laughs> in madness <laughs> <laughs> oh, Indonesia have a blasphemy uh, of religion. Yeah, I know, I know. There's no freedom of speech, but especially even if you there is, you know, even if you if even if it's a country which is like you, you know, but you, you know, we know what, what kind of uh, people they are. Those who they are challenging us. So they are fake and they don't mean it, and we know that. Otherwise, you call me. What you can say in behind the table, there you can say it behind the computer. Nothing will change. Actually, that will make it easier for you because you will have a computer, you will have your reference, you can share your reference, you can share your proof. Right? Now, how many of you did subscribe to the other account? Anyone? No, no, it's not, for me, it's not about be careful. I mean, I don't, I'm not going even to spend a penny to go and sit in front of this guy. It's not worth it. And who's going to pay for this? Flying all the way to Jakarta just to see this guy who is eating the microphone. He thinks it's an ice cream. What, what I would do there? Fly all the way to Jakarta to see why. Call me in Skype. It's just a Skype. It take you a second. What link you want? Post kindly the link, the link of my other account. It's in the info, my friend. It's in the info. Click at the info of the video. You will find it. All right. No, no, no. This is a, this is an account of YouTube. We will go live there. This account, we will put it for sleep for some time. All right. I have many accounts, as you know. I bought some time from time to time, one of them to sleep because this, this account became so big. So we grow up the other account as a backup. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, yeah. You want to see how long my beard? No problem. The funny, I am the one who have a beard and they don't. Look at them. What happened? You know, the, the funny about those people, they speak too much about Islam. They claim to have knowledge, but none of them, he speak, and he knew nothing. They have no idea. 
And this is why when I go live, I open my Skype. And this is a big challenge. I mean, because you don't know who's going to call you and how much he knew. Correct? When you say, okay, my Skype is open, how I know is who's going to call me? Maybe he is someone really, really powerful. Extreme, like 100,000 horse. Uh, as long as we're talking about Islam, we can't use horse. 100,000 mule. So, still I open my Skype and I say, who want to challenge me? All right? I don't ask you who you are. I don't care who you are. Everybody is welcome. Yeah, they can call me in Skype. They think they can do in Skype. They can do there. Actually, in Skype, people, they will hear better. And we will have more than the number he asked about. Here we go. I just started five minutes ago, and nobody knows that I'm going to go live on air. We have 800 people. Right? Nobody need to go anywhere. Nobody to come anywhere. Nobody need to fly. No money is expended. Not, not for them, not for me. Very simple. Right, but uh, but the problem is, you see, because uh, what we did in Indonesia is really big, and they don't know really what to do. They have no idea what to do. This is why you know they have to make themselves in the front of the Muslims at least. Like, okay, we well, you know we are here. We are not ignoring this guy. He is making a lot of Indonesian leaving Islam. No, no, we are fighting him. Here we go. I'm going to make a challenge for him. You know, once I uh, I was diving in the ocean. You know, guys, I don't I don't like to tell a private stories about me that I am really very good in diving. Uh, me, there's two in the world they can dive to that deep in the ocean. Me and Prophet Muhammad. And to be honest with you, uh, Prophet Muhammad, he was able to dive might be like a three foot more. I could not go there because this is where the lotus tree. You know, anyway, so I was diving, 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 and very, very deep, brother, very deep. Like it's like a, 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 a 20 centimeter. So I found uh, a, like a paper, it says a challenge to debate the Christian prince in the middle of the ocean, brother. So a Muslim hero, he decided to debate me and he decided to challenge me and he sent a paper in the ocean. And because the ocean is so small, as you know, it's very easy for me to find out. I, is it this is YouTube is bigger than an ocean? How in the world I will even see this challenge? How even I'm going to see this challenge? You, you, you see how coward you are? If you really mean it, you give it to me. This is in June 25th. What, what June? Which month we are? How many months ago? So how do you expect me to know about it? Hmm? Message in the bottle? No, no, no. You see, we Arab, we do not need bottle to read messages. That's something you need, you know, I mean... Uh, we are different. Hmm? You see, everything about us is different. When the prophet, he came to our prophet, I mean, the angel came to our prophet, he squeezed him three times. And what that was, the let us say, the first practice of the signal of Morse. Like, ping, 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 ping. So he squeezed him three times. So we have different way of communication. It's higher than your standard. You don't, I can't explain to you, sorry. I mean, maybe come tomorrow. Right? <clears throat> what is this? And then there is a 3000 uh, 0 10 view. Obviously, even Muslims are not considering you something because how come this video have only 3,025 of June? I mean, who is the, who is how many subscribers you have? Only 3,000? And there's only 88 of them giving you a finger? Look at this. Uh, this is very embarrassing. I get a 390 finger 
in a good way. <laughs> and I just started my live broadcast. <laughs> So I don't know here what he's saying. Hold on, hold on. What he's saying. Young, I am young. This is true. I have to admit. Uh, see, at least uh, once in their lifetime, the Muslim, they are saying something nice about me. Young Bonaya. I am young Bonaya. Okay. Contact. Uh, then gone. I have gone. Yeah, this is true. Then gone. Uh, Christian prince. So I think uh, uh, the young Christian prince and he's gone. I, I, I'm not sure if my translation is. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's good to go. I think all Indonesian agree with me. So uh, here, Silahakan. Uh, what? Okay, Silahakan belong ki. Christian Prince, what happened to Christian? What is the C H? Uh, anyway, uh, take it, my friend. I don't like it. Anyway, just okay. So, Seliha, Seliha can belong Christian Prince. Okay, okay, okay. I agree. Okay, no problem. And then what? Yeah, son, A W F Abdullah. Uh, okay. So, supposedly those all the names that would debate me, all of them. Where is the, what, what is that? Uh, Mantan, Mantan, Christine, Pentacosta. I like Pentacosta. You know, actually, I want to go to, uh, you remind me of uh, Costa Rica. So if we go to Ponta and then we jump from there to Costa, uh, like, you know, that should be uh, something. What is this? All those details and what is this uh, comment here is saying I don't know what it's saying uh, uh, you know YouTube don't have a translation but anyway YouTube assumed that Christian Prince he knew that he knew in all languages Uda the Cassie Tau Kau Ki CP you guys I was going to go to Indonesia but I think I changed my mind I mean this is Indonesian language Uda dai kasas de yakasi at atakaku ki kakaku ki kakaku CP. What is that now? What? Okay, and then ka come on, come on, luku aja ada sasas sayaratina harus harus. No, this is this is really getting getting this getting here now. Like we are getting dirty here. What harus? I mean, come on. What is like? Come on, please. And then Taliban uh, ajala language Skypeina. Ah, here we go. I understand one word. This is a Skype in in Indonesian language. Skype became Skypeina. So let me tell you something. Anything you buy. You want to tell an Indonesian person about what you bought, you add Ina at the end. So Skype is a Skypeina. You get married, you have a wife, that's mean you have a wife Fina. All right? Like you get a TV, you get a Taifina. I mean, it's very simple. We, we are learning very fast, very fast. All right. <clears throat> How come here there is no debate TV now? It's just saying <laughs> debate TV. Anyway, so uh, Ini. What any? Okay, well, whatever you say. Any can era area media young. He will go. I think. See here, here he said young. I think he's talking about me because there he is. They said in front of my name. If you remember, they said young uh, uh, Christian Prince. Remember? Yeah, this is like okay. He's he's talking about me again. True, true story. All right. <clears throat> Anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm really, uh, 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 I'm sure like Indonesian, they are really like, they are surprised how much I know about uh, their language. Wrong translation, are you kidding me? Nobody said to me wrong, you want to debate me, you will lose. Trust me. <laughs> I know this guy from my side, actually. He is saying to them, why you don't debate him in Skype? I, you can tell. <laughs> 
right? He's saying to them, if you are a brave, forget about all this garbage and call him. Here we go. His Skype is there. What is this drama is about? As simple as that. But, you know, we have to add some actions to the answer, my friend. Come on. We cannot just say it as it is. Then here it says, uh, Parayatino. Uh, huh? Look, there's a change here. This guy he add to Skype, Skype, Skypeina. This guy he add something is new. All right. Uh, <clears throat> what? Praetino. Okay. I think this Tino is something new. What? 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 Sounds like a duck. What is that? You people in Indonesia, you know that the duck make that sound? That's amazing. So it looked like the duck in Indonesia speak the same as the duck in America. Wak, wak, wak. What is that? Wak, wak, wak. Hey, hold on. I want to translate this in Google <laughs> translation. <laughs> what wak, wak mean? That's what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is laughing sound. So in Indonesia, when you say "wak wak wak wak," this is laughing sound. Okay. So guys, when Indonesia they laugh, they say like "wak wak wak." Okay, that's new for me. All right. So like, if I go to Indonesia and I'm working with some Indonesian friends, and they we, we we I say a joke, they don't laugh. They say "wak wak wak." Are you saying? Is that what you are saying? That's really weird. I mean, you and Indonesia are driving me crazy. Unbelievable. All right. <clears throat> now, is this guy is against me or with me? Oh, hold on. This guy, he made a grammar mistake. I just found that this guy he made a grammar mistake. Look, he said the Skype. He did not say Skypeina. I mean, shame on you. You are posting under the shake and you say Skype. It's a Skypeina. Everybody knows. I mean, this is simple rules in the, in the in the Indonesian language. What's what's wrong with those people? Why where is why you are saying Skype now? Why, huh? Should I teach you uh, your language now? Oh, don't don't be sad. Don't 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 cry. Come on, just say wak wak wak. It's okay. We are friends. Okay. What about this guy here? Idi kamu uh, <clears throat> wrong tingle. No, don't tingle with me. You tingle alone, I tingle alone. Everybody have his own tingle, please. Maju, 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 Saja, via Skype. This guy, he misses Skypeina too. Where is Skypeina? Look like this is a very popular mistake in uh, in Indonesia. Okay. Uh, AWF, Aja. Look like all of those guys are Christians, aren't they? I think those are Christians. They are saying to them, are you crazy? AWF, Aja. Ki Amrik Glu Penny Dana. He said he already told you. He already. Who, who, who is the one who told me? Which one? No, this is a post. I just uh, saw it today. You see, that's why I made the video. I saw it in Patreon today. Maybe he told me, maybe this guy, he told me about the previous video, the one you told me about, about the, the one who we made from a Greek, etc. Uh, what's his name? The, this is the same guy. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, what? Hmm. Debate dang C C P Negara key three 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 dot G J and what is that? I think this is like a coding thing. All right. <clears throat> so anyway, I mean this is really weird. Uh Christian Prince Khan Level Koda Kokayak four months ago. 
Han Bang, what Zachary Naik? I have. I'm getting busy. Uh, imagine if the debate will be like this. That would be something. Hmm. Many people defending. I do not need to defend my friend. If they are heroes, let them call me. What this is joke is about? Who is holding him? Here we go. I can open my Skype. He can call me anytime he wants. I do not need to set up uh, uh, here. This guy is saying to them, 29 minutes ago, ah, this is a fresh shish kebab. 2,000 watch CP live stream every time he goes live on air. So call him. That's smart talk. Here we go. You know. But by the way, you have a mistake in the grammar here. In the in the Indonesian language, you should not say that. You should say 2,000 2, watch China CP live stream streamina every time Mina he goes in a life in a Corina him in because you have to add the uh, uh, Yina thing you know uh, to make it uh, more acceptable locally at least or traditionally all right <clears throat> people say run away from <laughs> who is this Ahmed <laughs> Don't tell me this guy, the crazy guy, Ahmed Nader. <laughs> this guy is mentally ill. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, somebody posted a video here. Anyway, like uh, a lot of comments here look like Muslims are not convinced with his challenge. Are you said Zina? What Zina? Anyway, so my friend, if those people are really serious and they really uh, dare to debate me, nothing can stop them. They can call me. And here, ask yourself the question. Really, ask this question: Why all of them they want to debate someone? He have a blue eyes, American who don't speak English. Why every Muslim want to challenge uh, what his name? Uh, uh, the, uh, the apostate prophet who is a Turkish ex-Muslim who don't speak Arabic simply so they will say to him you don't know Arabic you know what I mean you don't know Arabic this is the game always they play so they can insert and they can lie and they can say whatever they want and they can get away with it like Allah he pray for but Allah don't pray to right as simple as that they call me clown they can call me whatever they want well the clown I don't know who is the clown in this world my friend the clown is somebody confirming that if you raise your head before somebody finishes a prayer he will make a, your head the head of a donkey <laughs> that is the clown <laughs> <coughs> Skype in I mean his Skype I know that why you are you think you're I was teaching them what does that mean and this is why I told them if you want to say about anything you want to guy did I say if you want to say my wife you say wife Fina did I say that how's them you want to say my wife you say wife Fina so this is like my wife which is his wife supposedly you know yeah I told him that already come on I can I can uh, learn languages very fast you know uh, uh, I went uh, Actually, once I fly in the airplane over uh, a country, it's called uh, Wak Wak. No, actually, no, not Wak here. What Wak? Uh, uh, Waganda, 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 uh, Waganda. Anyway, so I learned the language just by going over the this true story. Sahih Bukhari, brother. Sahih Al Bukhari. Isn't it Allah? He taught Suleiman the language of the birds. And then he understand the language of the ants. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they claim, uh, have it challenged you? Yeah, this, is it this what we are talking about? Here we go to the front of us. They are challenging me. You know, just very stupid. You know, I wish I can afford to pay this and kill this number. That would be that would be hilarious. If we call this number, what will happen? Hmm, that would be fun. 
call this number and ask for this guy to speak to me Spy, try to speak Chinese I speak Chinese very well you know because uh, when I was training uh, Brosley you know Brosley uh, Bros simply uh, his real name is Bros uh, but then I told him you will not learn unless you take some glasses from my friend Lee so I sent him to Lee and Lee he sent him back to me all right he said to me to him well I can teach you but if you want to be really perfect in karate you have to go to CP and watch how he debate one hit in the head one hit in the and and and, and whatever follow just watch what will happen so Bruce Lee he start watching my debate and he learned how to hit as I do that ching -ha, -ha, ha yeah exactly you know but the only thing he did not do which make me upset he did not use a skypina to learn from me it was like something different like no skypina none of his head was like having peanut at all all right speak arabic they can understand those people they can understand i will shave my 100 foot beard if this guy he knew one arabic word those people, the only thing they knew, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. This is something they recite. They don't understand what they're saying. What well, speak Arabic? They understand. Are you serious? Didat, the big name, Didat. He don't speak Arabic. He don't speak single Arabic word. Right? The Skype to call for a number. I think you have to purchase uh, credit, right? Never boring. What do you mean never boring? You are saying to me that uh, I am never boring? Is that because you are from Burkina Faso? <laughs> you are weird. Yeah, this is why you, you think like uh, never bor boring. You know, this people from Burkina Faso, they have always this, this way of thinking. They never get bored of anything. Yeah. So now, listen carefully, Muslims. If any any of you would like to debate me, you do not need really this drama and two thousand seats. What two thousand seats? My, you know, my my friend Abdul have a friend. His name is Abdul. His mother-in-law alone she needed three thousand feet. Brother, she is so big. What about we debate over the flying carpet of cinnamon in the in the air, sponsored by Allah? There is 600,000 chairs according to the interpretation of the Quran. Right? And that's it. <clears throat> oh boy. Um Anyway, so if anyone want to debate me, you know, listen carefully. Tell those, uh, say, even if you're a Muslim, tell them. This is embarrassing. This guy, he go live every day, and he keeps saying, any Muslim, any Muslim, any Muslim. Sometimes he feel like, it, he sounds like a guy who is homeless begging for some sandwiches or something. Like, any Muslim, any Muslim. Like, hey, come on, just call him. Call him, and you, you know, remember, remember you are AWF. I mean, you are not just anyone. You are AWF. Huh? You are not just any person. I mean, this guy, he made an organization by his name. Look how much he is humble. This is a very sign of somebody he is not making a business. AWF. At least use your prophet name. I mean, what is that AWF? Are you uh, are you uh, 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 Abdul Abdul uh, was far you no know, was far uh, was funded? But what what this as well AWF? Let us help CP to go vacation. Where do you want to go vacation? This guy want to get rid of me. See, the excuse is, let us help a Christian prince and uh, donate for him. 
this is his excuse but the fact this guy he like trying to get rid of me he want me to go vacation ACB Baba I just think the guy say give donation to CB so he can go vacation and that, that's it CB will go and maybe in the way like uh, the uh, one of those mermaid in the in the in the sea will uh, capture him and take him like we see in the story and she forced him to marry her and then he live under the water and there there's no internet and then we don't see him no more yeah thank you I know the plan I suppose like he's trying to support me like make a donation so CP can go to a warm area look he said warm area huh? notice with me notice not you see the plan conspiracy I think this guy is trying to send me to Indonesia isn't he <laughs> all right oh uh, anyway and you know the funny this is an openly debate not hiding debate people they are so much interested of your how handsome you are I'm not handsome man I'm hide myself I mean I go anywhere I don't want anyone to know who I am don't you see why I'm hiding myself you know if I am good looking I will open the camera and then like everybody will say like wow how disgusting you know what this is is about what a drama people this is the this is the drama don't get married if to debate a Christian Prince you made this drama what you will do if you are talking to your mother-in-law I bet you this guy he challenged his mother-in-law by sending a video and he make it a private so nobody can read it just to convince himself that he is a hero he's not scared of her so he make a video and the title of the video will be the beat uh, hold on let me read my uh, because since I did not practice Indonesian for long uh, uh, the tan tan gan debit uh tara buka uh what uh, here instead of christian prince he put my uh, mother madarika on low uh, uh, le book because she is expired uh d uh sorbaya like you know not only her her and her family together all of them they come to ja in jakarta See, and then he make the video private so nobody will see it. And then he will tell himself, I challenged my mother-in-law and she is scared of me. Look, she did not even respond. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm really convinced that you are hero. Hero Miro. Okay, I made you cry, Elita. <laughs> Look at this. Those Christians, they 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 are they have misunderstanding. But they, there was always they mix between me and onion. Christians are Muslims. I make Muslim cry. I make Christian. Cry. You know, Muslims they think I am garlic. The Christian think they I am. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> You can read Indonesian language. Sure, I can read all languages. Uh, Indonesian language is very, very easy. You know. You see, usually I practice languages only if there is nobody speak that language around me. Like when I go to China, I, re I refuse to speak Chinese. I practice Chinese when I went to Japan. But when I came back uh, to Japan, you know, I refuse to speak Japanese. I decide to speak Chinese. And the reason for that, that is a wisdom. You see, like Allah, He taught us all kinds of wisdom. So Allah, He sent the Injil to Jesus. And Jesus, He was sent to the Hebrew. But Jesus gave them the Injil in Greek. But yet the people are in Hebrew, according to the logic of Allah. Not because the people were sent to the you know by the disciple to those who speak a Greek language no brother so this is the logic what you can do right just do what you do my friend you are making me dizzy now what does that mean CP just do what you do English is funny just do what you do what does that mean 
you remind me of the verse in the Quran where it says, Oh, you kuffar, I will not eat what you eat, and I will never eat what you eat, and you will never do eat what I eat, and I will never ever eat what you eat because you will not eat what I eat, and I will never ever ever do eat what you eat because you have your food and I have mine. Chapter Al Kafirun. Very clear wisdom. I mean, the only chapter is it's called uh, Okufar. I believe not in what you believe, and you will not believe in what I believe, and I will never believe in what you believe. So you will not believe in what I believe, and I will never believe what you believe. And I will never believe what you believe. I will believe what you believe. And I will never believe what you believe. And I believe because you have to believe, and I have mine. What a wisdom, man! Take aspirin if you are having headache after this verse. Right. Now, okay. Anyway, so for those, uh, somebody send him this video. Tell him, come on, people are laughing at you. Make subtitle, add it, add subtitle to it. People are seriously laughing at you. Those guys, they are making business. This is nothing but a business, you know. They are just trying to make money of those poor Indonesian. What is this? He want to tell those who, uh, you know, pay for his salary. No, I am defending Allah. I'm defending Islam. But the fact he don't. Because if you really mean it, you do it. Right? As simple as, as that. Now, how many of you subscribe to the other channel before we go? We will put this account for sleep for some time. So those who like to subscribe to the other channel, we will see the info there in the in the in the info. There is a says our new life account. Click at that link, YouTube, and the the one in the top, not the one underneath. The one underneath is the video for this guy. All right, and then you subscribe, and you will be be able to join us when we go live on air. Do we have any question? anyone yeah and tell your friends that we will be doing a live podcast there all right now today today we have a snow very beautiful snow yeah what channel I just said in the info why people don't listen my friend let me sing it in the info of the video we have a link click on it if you click, you go there, subscribe to it. In the info, we have a video. In the link, click in it. Just go. It's very easy. Hello? <clears throat> nobody nobody, nobody is understand what I'm saying. In the info, we have a video. Click in it. You go there. Subscribe. Yeah, walk, walk. Uh, come on. <coughs> Are you live on Saturday? I am live every day until the Lord, you want me to die, my friend. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, when you see, like, if, I, if there is a reason, I, I go live on air. And, um, you know, I have many things to do. Um, Lord have mercy. Terrible voice? I have a terrible voice? Are you serious? Oh, boy. Mm, you hurt my feeling now. <clears throat> okay, I'm not going to sing no more. I thought, like, I am... Uh, I was going to stop actually going on YouTube and start a new career. Now you are saying to me you have a terrible voice. Oh boy. Faisal? Do you want me to call you Faisal? Do you want me to call you Faisal? You are a Muslim? <coughs> CP, you have Ver Verden? Verden? What veteran? No, I don't have any veteran. Do you have veteran yourself?
how about Quran translation? Well, I'm working on all the books. I'm working in the Allah Justice book, Quran translation, uh, the roots of the Quran. I mean, you know, the disciple of Jesus in Islam, etc. Yeah, many. Snow is beautiful. Yeah, snow is beautiful, but, but the cold is not. The cold is not. So anyway, yeah, one of you, he said to me, uh, um, there is a, he's trying to set a debate between me and the Muslim. My friend, don't set any debate. There's no need to set. Just let him call. How many times I said, I don't need to set the time for a debate with anyone. Just call me, my friend. What's set? What this is set for? Right? Can you take a bath when it's snow there? What do you mean bath? The bathroom is inside the house. You take a bath. So what do you think? In America, we don't take a bath once a year? I'm the only American who take bath one a year, one a year because I'm an Arab. This is a tradition. We do annual shower. But the rest of the American, they take a shower every day. <clears throat> uh, did Quran mention snow? The Quran mentioned hail. Mention mentioned the hail. Allah He made the hail from mountains in it. You remember? We spoke about many times about that. Allah He sent hail from mountains in heaven. So Allah break hail from those mountains. Which by the way, absolutely true. This is what the scientists they said. There's a scientist from Japan. He said, This is approved in even according to our scientist in Japan. There's a the scientist his name Yama Tuduki Yama Aidula Yama. It's very important. And he said they found that absolutely true that there is ice in the broken from mountain in heaven. And Allah he strike with it with the one who don't like. This is true. What do you mean? Where is? <coughs> what do you mean? Can you talk about history of the Quran, my friend? What history of the Quran? This Quran is messed up. There's no history of it. Nobody knows the history of this book. Actually, there is many historian. They believe that there is some chapters even are added to the Quran long after. And by the way, until now, we don't have Quran. There's no Quran. What they have today is recitation. Somebody claimed that this is the recitation of a guy. His name is Hafs. And Hafs himself was accused by a Muslim to be a fraud. All right? So, long story. Anyway. Again, subscribe to the other account before we finish, guys. The other account, if you go in the info, here we go. Because some people, you have to tell them like step by step. Even Eddie, even Eddie, he can subscribe before you. Eddie, his name, Eddie what? Eddie para ya, uh, para Tino. Even Eddie can do that. Look, it's very easy, brother. Here, there is a link in the info. And there it says, our new life account. Let me highlight it for you, brother. And then, brother, what you need to do, brother, if you don't mind, brother, you click at this link, brother. And then, brother, you click at it, and then that link will take you to different page, brother. And then you subscribe, brother, brother. You see how easy it is? I think it's complicated. If you don't understand what I said, brother, I'm going to open Tafsir Ibn Kathir, brother. All right. So before we finish here, we say to the Muslims who they are saying they want to debate me, they want to challenge me. I mean, all of you, you don't mean it. If you don't mean it, you can do it. Just do it. You do not need to post the challenge. And this, uh, this is all just, you know, to fool people, to make yourself look like a hero. You wanna, you can do it. We ch we challenge all those who claim to be uh, scholars, which they are not scholars. Zakir and I, uh, uh, I cannot even, uh, Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, he's, a, he's not even a shish kebab to call him a scholar. Uh, uh, 
Mimi Hijab, the kid, and you're, you know, all of them, where are they? How, how many videos I made, I challenge you, I challenge all you, 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 and nobody show up. Nobody. I am comedian. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something about comedian. A comedian is somebody outspeed the others in his thoughts and his intelligence. So he says something nobody expected to be said. So when you say you are a comedian, you are not insulting actually. You are saying that I'm very smart. Okay, I know that. Nothing in you. <clears throat> I want to ask where did the prayer moment, the prayer what? Movement in Islam came from What do you mean the prayer movement? I don't know uh, you mean the way he act Muhammad he he copied from people around him He copied some from the Jews. He uh, copied some from the Christians. He copied some he copy anything he have he he copy you know And you know, yeah, he can he can be creative too. He adds some stuff to it. Why not? But as an example all of those act uh, I played before a video of how the Sabian they pray. Do you remember? The abolition of the, what is called al-wudu for the Muslims is exactly step by step as the Sabian. And Muhammad was known as a Sabian, which means I believe Muhammad in the beginning of his life he he joined the Sabian cult, which the people who worship the stars. No, there is no need for moderator, my friend. What moderator? Because, uh, first of all, I don't consider a debate if there's a like five minute for him, five minute for me. This is this is stupid. Because the point of a debate, he corner me or I corner him. Correct? You know, what they are trying, you know, with this moderator thing, just to show you how it's stupid, it's like two, two guys on the stage and they want to do boxing. And then there is a guy who will not let them touch each other. This is what the moderator is about. So if you want to have a real debate, what are you worried about? My right is equal to your rights. You talk as you wish, I talk as I wish, and people listen, and people hear the questions, hear the answer. Correct? But this moderator thing is to protect the fool. You see, when uh, when David Woody he agree to debate with Mimi Hijab? Mimi Hijab, he laugh and he make a comedy, as, but he did not answer, actually he lied. But if this is one-to-one -one debate, there's no moderator, and there's no five minutes for me, I say whatever, and five minutes to you, I say whatever, and I can stay, I, still I will, not, I, will, I will not answer you. A real debate is when somebody says something, you get him busted immediately. Did you say that? Did you just say this? Not after time, minute, you go to the stage. By the time you go there, people forgot even what he said. You know? Those, those, this is this is standard of debate. Is a stupid. Is not a debate. And what people they do, they set up a date, and they so they set up a, a topic, and then everyone go and print like a thousand pages from the internet, and both of them they are reading from the internet. Where is the debate? What about you give us the papers you printed, and that's it. Hmm? Right. You see, only those who they are afraid, they don't want to have a debate like the one I do. Because when you don't have knowledge, you are afraid from the question. I don't know what he will ask me. But when I set up a topic and we say we cannot go out of this topic, that's mean I know exactly what he will ask me. I go, I search on the internet, and you know, so that will that will make me look like I am a person who knows what he's talking about. Like, I am not an eye doctor, but I can now print pages which is written by professional doctors about eyes. So if you ask me about the eyes, I can read and I say, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this is not a debate. This is a joke. This is, this is, a, this is a stupid show. This is not a debate. Real debate is open challenge. Say whatever you want. I say whatever I want. Don't tell me your name. Don't tell me what the topic. Don't tell me your question. Enter you are live on air. Hit me. 
and let us see how much you know you know what I mean my friend I saw you don't uh, don't uh, repeat kaf ha sadain we are here live just to talk about those guys not to talk about Islam all right <clears throat> My friend, approve what? I don't go to debate anyone. But, uh, here we go. I am in the internet. I, everybody knows I do my work in the internet. So what this is challenge is about? This is this is a fake challenge from fake people who they are embarrassed in front of their followers because they could not stop me and I did humiliate them. Right? Was Muhammad exist? Well, I don't I cannot really confirm how he was exist, but supposedly he was And you know, I don't debate about those things about he was exist or not And I will tell you why if I say if I come with an idea it says Muhammad never been exist. Okay, so Okay, and You know, what I mean eh. Maybe maybe you maybe maybe a, a, a thousand maybe two thousand will believe in what you say but we have all the Muslims don't believe in that. So I debate Muslims about what they believe, not about something they don't believe. Do you understand? So we have to be smart. We do not need to waste our time and energy debating about something. It's not really important. It's not really important at all because Muhammad was exist. Muhammad not exist. Muslim believe in a guy. His name is Muhammad. So now it's your duty to show them that this Muhammad is a joke. It's not your duty. And you, there is no way to prove it that he is exist or not. How you can prove that? This is a waste of time. Do you understand? Don't waste your time. Hit the head of the snake. So Muhammad is exist, and I will show you that he is false. As simple as that. And that will hurt more. You know what I mean? Actually, the reason they don't want to debate me because I don't, I don't uh, allow moderator, and I don't allow topic choice. <clears throat> if I allow it, only like just I give up. Like I want to get the guy, just come here, you know. But topic choice of like choosing a topic two months in advance, this is something I will not allow, because then the person he will go, he will not debate me. He will print one thousand. Uh, link from atheist website and he will come to me with it just come with your knowledge and I come with my knowledge don't tell me your question ask me if a Christian prince he is capable of answering he will answer people will witness right away because it take a second you read the question before you finish it take you to a few seconds Christian prince have to answer if you don't know how to answer it, people will laugh at him. Right? Muhammad had a health, health childhood. Well, I don't know what you mean. you mean. You mean healthy? Muhammad, he used, he used to have epilepsy, obviously, since he was a child. If you read in Sahih al-Bukhari, you will see that Muhammad, according to Muslims, he faint and supposedly uh, the woman who was uh, doing breastfeeding for him the Bedouin woman which she took him away from her his family uh, Or his family throw her throw him he get they get rid of him. They give it gave him to her uh, He faint faint once to the point. She thought he is dead and at that time he was like maybe uh, maybe seven eight years old so uh, And then the Muslim they claim that at that time the angels they did surgery the same as the plastic surgery they cut his heart <clears throat> they they clean his chest, etc., and they put inside uh, faith and belief. The same story ha uh, happened again and repeated when Muhammad was an adult. All right. CP had the health childhood. You are talking about me, about Muhammad. I know. <laughs> yeah, I have a healthy childhood. <laughs> I'm healthy until now. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> um, 
so this is my message for all Indonesian tell them there's a guy he challenged you all you can come together you come as individuals and there's no need for this drama set up a debate in the government in the in the University of Jakarta this is a joke you know that this guy will not come there he will get killed the second he arrive in the airport you know that so stop being a liar stop being a stupid everybody knows that even in your country you have a law against insulting Muhammad the second I say Muhammad is a false prophet I will be arrested in the stage so if I did not get killed by the terrorist I will be arrested by the terrorist government so your challenge is nothing but a hypocrisy and you Muslims should laugh at them you Muslims should go there says hey shame on you this is funny this is stupid obviously you don't mean it no it's not a trap they knew this wouldn't happen never happened they don't even send me the link they did not even this guy he don't even dare to call me to say I challenge you to come and debate us right it's like saying uh, I want to debate you about the Christ in the, in the uh, in China in China nobody is allowed to talk about religion what is that and why I need to go anywhere and what is this what, what does that mean hiding if I am hiding I am destroying your cult so what if I appear <laughs> all right well anyway I think we had enough for today uh, don't forget please to subscribe to the other account again I repeat I have a link in the info down in the video and we will be going live in that account for some time that account is called the Christian Prince so don't forget please here we go this is the this is in the if you go in the info of our video now we have uh, 1024 people only watching uh, you will see a link here click in it and you will be in the other account so you can join us later when we go live on here maybe tomorrow I will go I will be uh, live don't go what do you mean don't go you want to stay here forever what I would do what what do you want to do do you want us to talk about Scooby Scooby Doo you miss my voice my friend I have more than 30 40 thousand videos in YouTube and you miss my voice I mean come on hello Do you know how many videos I have in Facebook and in, in, uh, in YouTube? <laughs> Please don't go. Please don't go. Hmm. Uh, what is the Christian Prince thought in Catholicism? My friend, my thought is that we as a Christians, we don't belong to a church name. We belong to Jesus. So a Catholic, a Protestant, an Orthodox, those are names of churches, and it doesn't matter for me. What matter for me? Do you believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? Do you believe in the resurrection and the crucifixion? Do you believe that the Christ is the only Savior? Do you believe that Father, we have our God, our Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, three persons but one God? Do you believe that the Word of God is the Messiah and He was exist before His birth? Do you believe that he is the Alpha and the Omega and by him and everything by him and, and for him was created? If you believe in this, you are my brother in Christ. I don't care what the name of the church you go to. Those are names mean nothing to me. Have you ever heard me asking somebody what church you go to? This is his business. Not what a big deal. And churches can be can be wonderful if the if the priest there is a is a good man. It can be a horrible place if the priest there is a corrupt man so this is this is not about a name this is about who is there from their fruits you shall know them my friend not from their names my name is a Christian Prince but maybe I'm not a Christian what my name have to do with me right so we have to be smart and we don't we should not allow uh, uh, the devil to the, the you know to divide us you see all this division is from the devil 
anyone he divide the Christians he is serving the devil anyone doesn't matter who it doesn't matter who very simple a question ask yourself do you think the Lord the Messiah he will be happy to see us divided no there's one one Christ there's one church whoever believe in me and die he will live that is the church Catholic Protestant etc those are names and those names came from politics they have nothing to do with us and we have nothing to do with them right as simple as that don't let the devil fool you and don't let that somebody fool you says oh the Catholic are not uh, Christians or the Protestant are not Christian this is a stupid talk who are you to say who is not a Christian? The, the Bible is say clearly who is the Christian. Jesus, the Messiah, his, the Lord himself, he said, who is the Christian? Not me, not you, not anyone. Stay away from dividers, for they serve the devil. All right? Unity is a strength. And we are united by the Messiah. The Bible says there's no Greek, there's no Hebrew, there's no free, there's no slave. For all is one in Christ Jesus. I mean. So if you have a better guidance than the Bible, then follow it. If your guidance is a priest, go worship your priest and name him God and follow what he say. Because then you will be following a priest, you will not be following God. All right. Someone is hitting on me and what's your business Joyce if somebody hit him on me? I mean there's people here. They are watching you see they're like well <laughs> And they are sniffing what's wrong with people? <laughs> Unbelievable <laughs> uh, Very funny people very funny uh, Grow up grow up be mature grow up Grow up All right Put your head up and say, I have a brain. God, he gave me a brain. Use it. You have too much brain, never been used. And this is the problem of this world. We have a brain is lazy. You know what? Your stomach work a lot more than your brain. This is the problem. Use it or you will lose it. Stop being acting like a child. Be mature. Think mature way. Before you say words, think about them. If your processor is slow, slow your mouth. You see, the problem is we have a tongue, and this tongue can be the most harmful sword. And we heard people by this tongue all over all day because this tongue speaks foolishness. We have a break when we have it, we drive our car. We have a break when we drive our bicycle. We have a break even when you go over your donkey, but you don't have a break with your tongue. So you insult your parents, you insult your sisters, you insult your brother, you insult your wife, you insult your husband. And the end of the day, you turn to be a fool. And the same we see in the chat. Some people, they think they are, you know, like they are uh, uh, the one who own me or the one who they, they have uh, uh, ownership over me. Who are you? Stop telling people what to say. Watch your mouth first. Now, <clears throat> see, one of the beautiful things that God He gave us is intelligence. And if we don't use this intelligence, we will turn to something very, very ugly. And we will be rejected by everybody around us. Number one reason make me re reject any person to be even a friend to me is to be fool. The foolishness. I hate foolishness. I cannot stand foolishness. And sadly, people they adopt foolishness these days. I mean, it's, it's their lifestyle. It's like that. It's like a hello, a good morning. Everything they do in their life is foolishness. Even if they get married, they think they own the husband. The guy he got married, he think he owned the wife as if she is a puppy. They think you are a piece of furniture. 
they move you they put you here they put you there and nobody can touch you nobody can talk to you nobody they own you so many people they have wrong understanding of life and they have no idea what they are and what they want because simply they are not mature and they will never be mature as long they are thinking in such a way grow up if you want to have a successful life you have to look at things in different way when you look at people around you don't she just don't just see uh, people everyone have to be an individual to you you treat the individual based in his individuality which means who is he what he do how he is nice to you how is good to you or how he bad he's bad to you and never think that your own people you will see someone he is rude to his mother because he think he own her yeah why not he she is a slave she cook for him she uh, uh, she she take care of him you know anything he wants she she he think he own her so he treat his mother as a slave so he's abusing her love and he own her the world is full of ugly creatures and the human being can be the most ugly disgusting creature ever don't be that one don't ever be that one all right maybe we should not speak some uh, about something deep because people don't like deep stuff uh did muhammad wear pants i mean is that a problem my friend i don't know if muhammad wear pants or not but however there was a fly uh, sorry a, a, a lice was living there according to the hadith maybe we can ask the lice and she will tell us all right <clears throat> Because uh, I get angry from people saying sentence because this is none of your business. Uh, anyway, so anything else? Deep talk is good. Yeah. Deep talk is good, but who is listening? This is the problem. Deep talk is good. There is many people they read the Bible every day, but they learn nothing because they are not really reading. They are just, I mean, seeing words. You see, in the in the Aramaic language. Uh, Aramaic language is very very uh, very powerful so like uh, like even the Arabic it's using it it says that so you say what you saw all right so you see by your eyes and then you say by your lips so there's a transformation of the information from the eyes through the brain and then from the brain to your tongue and then you say it all right but there's many people there that process does not exist it goes from their eyes directly to their tongue it doesn't go through their brain so it doesn't matter really how long and how many times they read the Bible they learn nothing when the Bible is the most deep book ever every speech of the Messiah is the most amazing speech ever you can imagine and actually there is one one thing which is unique about it you can read it yesterday and read it today and still you will find that you are learning something yesterday and you are learning something new today because this amazing Bible is it fit with your life and the position of, position of your life at the moment it's not just a, it's not a solid concrete block this is how it is so it is something very spiritual something very personal and it speak to you based on your situation so you will see something new no matter how many times you read it it's like a spring of water and you never like I mean you always you get thirsty and you find it very delicious and you each time you taste that that water well there's many books okay I read it once okay Christian Prince book I read it okay it says dear here etc but there's nothing really I can learn more than what he said that's it 
That's it. It says there Muhammad did that. Okay, we learned that. But when you read what, what the Messiah he said, you will see how amazing. And not only that, there is something very, very amazing about it that it can be a person who have no education. You just know how to read or write, or even you don't even know how to read how to write. Somebody read for you. It still can be very inspiring and very simple to understand. It can be extremely deep, extremely deep and complicated, and it can be in the same sentence. It is extremely simple and easy to understand. All right. You see, the Bible is a life, my friend. How many times I said that the the Messiah is the walking, talking, living Word of God? How many times I said that? He is the walking. Talking, living word of God. So, whatever he, the Messiah he said, still it is the walking, talking, living word of God. It walk with us, it talk to us, it live with us. All right. So I advise you always, you know, to refresh your memory and to be to be to refresh your life. You know. It give you it give you really a lot of inspiration. Life is very stressful. Life is very disgusting. People are very disgusting. You know, even those who claim that they love you, sometimes they they don't love you. They own you. They want to own you. You know, there's like if you go in in your life, maybe you are married, maybe you are not, maybe you are single, maybe you are engaged, maybe maybe. But there's many people they understand love in the wrong way. Why? Because they don't have a touch or any relationship with the Messiah you see the Messiah who he is the one who created us he did not own us he gave his life for us you see the difference we when we have somebody in our life we want to own him we want to control him we want to put our our hands around his neck so he cannot breathe a woman she have a husband where you been who's texting you what are you doing? I saw you with somebody. Was he? Same the man he do. He saw his wife. What are you doing? Why you are late? Where you been? They are immature. This is immature love. This is ownership. This is not love. It shows that they have no trust. It shows that they have they, they believe that you are bad. It's ugly. It's disgusting. If you are with the Messiah. You relax and you know what let us say you know somebody in your family and maybe he is doing something bad at the end of the day the one who do bad the bad will go to him not to you you do not need to practice the supervisor to protect your rights because that will not protect your right if somebody want to cheat on you she will cheat even if you put bars on your doors if the husband want to cheat he will cheat even if you if you sit down in his shoulders. Don't be a fool. Relax. Be trust. Be the trust itself. Trust yourself. Trust your belief. And then the others, this, this is their business, what they want to be. If somebody want to be bad, he is bad. Learn how to live, learn how to be loving, learn how to be smart. Life is an art of living, not uh, not living, just living like uh, wake up in the morning. You have to have an art of enjoying your life. How to maybe we should make a video in the quality of life about that. How many of you uh, subscribing to your uh, uh, to subscribing to uh, the account uh, quality of life? Don't forget to subscribe to that channel in case you did not yet. <clears throat> All right. So maybe we we need to make some uh, some videos about this topic. <clears throat> Let there be light. Why you went? Why you heard? Why you hear CP? I don't know what you mean. Why you went? Why you want to hear CP? Uh, somebody is asking somebody. Okay. 
Yeah, see, the problem with the uh, uh, the text, the, the text when somebody texting, it's plain. Sometimes a person, he might be joking, but you might think it is serious, or maybe he's insulting, but you think he's not. It's plain, you know, that's why when you hear people, it's better uh, so you understand them better. Uh, a lot of people want to kill me. So what? I don't care. <laughs> You know, the last thing I, I'm really worried about, if I live into tomorrow, I don't care. And actually, I learned that the one who is scared of something, he don't he don't enjoy life. You know what I mean? If you are a person who is paranoid about germs, you will get sick. The one who is have a phobia from uh, uh, from bacteria in his uh, like uh, some people they have like the, I don't know like they can't enjoy anything, so they have to wash their hands every two second or you know. You don't enjoy your life. You don't know what life is. I will live as long the Lord He want me to live, not more, not less. Right. So don't think about it. Yeah. All right. So guys, remember we will go live in the other channel. So in case I will leave this video for some time here, so people will notice where we will go. And uh, uh, until we see you again, I hope people will subscribe and they will join us in the other channel as soon as we go live again there. And we will post a link for the new broadcast in Minds.com and in Patreon and maybe even in Facebook. All right. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. And all those who they challenge us to debate us, they don't mean it. They are fake. They are false. Because the one who want to debate me, or oh, what you need to do, just call me. As simple as that. The rest is nothing but fallacy, hypocrisy, and propaganda in the front of your followers. So you want to convince them that you are the hero, and uh, you can do it. No, you cannot. And you don't dare. If you're there, just do it. Don't talk about it too much. Those who want to do something, they don't talk about it. They do it. But those who talk too much about doing something, they never do it. As simple as that. Thank you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.